Yeah, I, I, like I said, I notice a lot of brothers go to the same places. Yes. Like you, yes. That, that's another reason why I was like, okay, I feel this dude's vibe because you're not with going to the generic places. I mean, I go, I stop in. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I, I, try to, I, I try to support the other businesses out here. Um, you know so any of the owners, like the 808 and Flex and um, uh, I think I know Solar the head Ball? manager in 808. Um, is he a brother? No, no. Oh, I, think okay. he's, I think he's a Russian guy. But I think the, the 808, I think it's a group. So I think it's four or five different guys who own that, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Um, but I've, I've, met, I've met the manager there a few times. Uh, and I've hung with him, had a drink with him a few times. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, you, I, I really don't like, you know, that a lot of the YouTubers kind of stay in Padia. I, you know, I try to pick up, you know, guys like a Chocolate Man because. Shout out to Chocolate Man. You know, he travels around. He doesn't just sit in Patty and just film things that are going on Patty. Patty. Granted, there's a lot of things to do here, but I think a lot of YouTubers here in Patty have fallen short. You know, I haven't seen a black YouTuber hit the <coughs> hit the Muay Thai, um, uh, the Muay Thai club right up on some given road. You know, and this is ten, this is 10 minutes away from where we are right it's now. It's a Muay Thai club? It's a stadium. It's a stadium. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I'm about to say, by kicking ass and drum? You know with ball girls so <laughs> right you know what i'm saying so um you know you got the, the floating market you got all the gents i've been stuff. yeah i've been to all i've been to the floating you know, market i've been to the tiger only the one i see is the elephants you know um you got other islands that are two three hours away you can hire yeah. a driver for a day for about i think we paid six thousand five for a minute you know what though if you're hours. here for literally say 12 days how much time does somebody really have you feel well, me? Well, that's the beautiful thing here. So you're going to go to 808. You're going to go to Flex. Right. You're going to go to the Sauna Bar. Right. You're going to go to the Maju, whatever. And that kind Kick of goes, chicken. In, goes into, you know, kind of Kevin Sanders talked about this. We we have a negative stigma, stigma against, like, tricking. Right. Um, you know, and you, you got to separate tricking into, you know, where you got the simp guys that are way overspending to the point where it's hurting their pockets. Where they, yeah. they short yeah. on their rent or short on their electric bill because they out spending money on women. <sighs> You got the other trick where the guy is, Kevin Sanders talked about this, where the guy is saving himself time. You know what I mean? Like you got guys here that are contractors. They're here for 20 days. They don't want to spend, you know, two, three days trying to get to know a girl when they, you know, they haven't been able to do anything over in the desert for right. a couple months. They're trying to get in, get out, have their fun. Right. They time is valuable. And I think us as, us as black men, we were never taught about, you know, the concept of our time being valuable. Yep. So, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I can, you know, if I see this beautiful chick and I, and I can enjoy, a, you know, and I only want 24 hours with her and I can enjoy that for 80 bucks, 90 bucks, whatever it is, well worth it to me. Do you think, this goes back to what we were talking about before, because, you know, we talk about time. Um, you think YouTube helps or hurts? I think it's both. Average travelers. I think it's both. Uh, I think it's, uh, in some cases it helps, in some cases it hurts. And... and like elaborate more like what what okay start with like how how does it hurt the uh how does youtube hurt like traveling and, and uh how we're perceived our culture our people um it, it hurts when you got uh false information or you got biased opinions or you know you or you don't consider the source you know you got some guys that are bitter about different things about women things that have happened with women out here and then they have a 100 percent negative spin on the women out here yes. um but then when you start doing a deep dive on where they what they did and where they went wrong you can easily see like well bro you spend it too were, much you're moving like this tricking you know and that's not you know or you were only finding girls at this location when you when what you wanted you should have been in this location right um so they leave a very negative or biased opinion that may not really be the average guy's experience. Right, 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 right. And you said you lived that life. You you were you were running around. Oh yeah. Running yeah. the gutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I've been there before. But yeah, that's that's part of the reason why I was like when I got here, I was, it wasn't anything a big deal to me. Right. I, I spent like seven years running around in the Philippines. Right. Running and gunning, like you said. You know, what I mean, I was making really good money. Um, it was cheap out there. I, you know, I liked it out there. Like the women were attractive out there. They took care of you real good. Do you like Thai women over Filipino women? Um, physically, I think I like the Thai women a little better. I think to me they're a little bit thicker, a little bit darker. A little prettier. Um, I think the Filipino women are a little prettier, but I think they tend to be a little lighter and a little smaller. I heard they shysty though. I heard they little shysty. Oh, I heard they got a little sasua chick in them. Oh yeah, they, they, they definitely have have women like that. But it's going to be depend on what are you there for. Are you there 
you know, for a long time trying to meet a wife, or right. are you there just trying to have some fun? And I think those are two different avenues that need to be that, that should be. Explored. Does it? Let me ask you a question. Doesn't that just naturally happen though? If I, cause my friend had a guy that he was hanging out with, chilling on Soy Six. The dude. Just didn't know no better. He walked into the bar, saw the girl, went to the mama's son and said, I'm bar finder. Without any conversation. Mm-hmm. Got the got the eight oh eight and lost her. Mm-hmm. Like she just, you know, just mingled she and just went with somebody better, else. She got a better off. So yeah. he lost it, she he lost his bar finder. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But I, I just say like, you know, I think the drink part helps us in a weird way because yes. you, you can sit down and talk to her. Be Pick sure. the one that you like physically and talk to her. If you don't say, I usually wait for the questions to come at me. Right. And it's always the generic questions like, where are you from? How long you been in Thailand? Why do you come to Thailand? What you want to do? But then, you know, after a while, you, you see like the flirting and the freaky, you know, the running around. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? Somebody. Yeah. So I just think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate for this to always be like about women, come back to women. But like I said, man, it's like my odds are better on the road. Yeah, I don't think there's no shame. When we're heterosexual men, there should be no shame for us talking about women. Facts. You know what I mean? We, we have an interest in women. It just is. That's a natural part of life. Now, do I think it's the only thing we should be talking to out here? Absolutely not. There's so many other beautiful things between different foods, between different cultural events, than just focusing on the women. Right, right, um, right, right, right. But like I said, the breakdown is always going to come down to how long are you here for? What are you here for? Right. You know what I mean? Um, if, if you're a guy and you're only out here for a short time and you're trying to find a wife or a girlfriend, you're, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. Right. Because just like you're trying to evaluate her, she's trying to evaluate you. So as soon as you be like, oh, I'm only here for vacation, that's one, one of the reasons why they ask that question because they want to know how they're going to deal with you. Are they going to deal with you how they would deal with somebody they're going to try to potentially date or they're somebody who's just going to have a, a good time for a couple days. Right. And, and I think that's where the YouTubers kind of fail in their conversation. Um, because they're not talking about the two different experiences. You live out here versus you're here for a short time. If you're here for a short time, for 20 days or two weeks, whatever the case may be, you shouldn't even be looking for a girlfriend. Isn't that what they accuse Zoom to Thailand, saying that, uh, oh, the women are so great and they got the best women, and he don't really talk about the dark side. You know what I'm saying? Like, not like the white well, dudes do, where they're just like, yo. And I haven't experienced no theft. I haven't experienced no. I got. I got. I, and I, this is my second trip out here, and I've been out here two months now. I ain't spent. My, I got my cell phone and my money in my wallet. Ain't no. Ain't no. Ain't no Thai dude can't beat on my door. Mm-hmm. So I think it's how dudes just pick it. I, I think. It's, I think. Yeah, I, I, think, I it's think, it's think it's how they pick it. I think. They, I think it's they're rushing. I think, and, and I think that, like I said, it's a difference between the guys who are out here short term and the guys who are out here long term. I think Richie Max speaks a lot from. Um, perspective of a guy who's staying out here long term. You, you know what I mean? Like you gotta say, realize too though, and I'm talking to the people in the audience on all that, but it's like I get it on his 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 department, because I was on his live, I, like I told you, we went, we, we locked in for like 15 minutes, jokes and you know, going back and forth, and I was really I, I told, you know, I wanted to tell like, yo, you know, I kind of apologize, because I was only like a, two weeks in, right. so I didn't like it two weeks in, I was kind of like, yo I thought you said this, and I thought you said that so anybody from my community, the Dominican, Colombian area, you know, YouTubers, travelers, well, now we're all starting to venture out here. You you, you, you you put in the search box and 90% of the time he comes up. Yes. So I get it. He has a business, so he has to make it great. You understand? Like, yeah, 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 of yeah. course he's going to say, if, if he's a record label, of course he's going to say he got the best rappers. Of course he's right, going right. to, if he's a car exactly. dealership, exactly. I got the best cars. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I don't see nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, it's like, when do we get the real? That's why I said, you come in, brother. But you got, in you my got, opinion. You got perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got the perspective of long-term guy, short-term guy. You got the yeah, perspective facts. of 100%. long-term and, and wants a wife and girlfriend or long-term that doesn't want a wife and girlfriend. Wants to just put <clears throat> You got short-term guys that want a girlfriend or wife. I don't know why, but the guys that come out here and want to do that, or the short-term guy who comes out here who just wants to play, right? Which I think is re- more is which is better for you. Um, you know, you might take a girl for you know they got the three-day rule, but um, you know if you're here for a short time, you know she she should be around for a short. Has time. there ever been a situation where you like like were you really wild down? Be like, damn, look at my bank account. I got to chill. I got to slow down. I'm. 
not me. I'm very financially responsible. I'm talking about maybe like 2017. Um, oh, no, but oh, I, I was oh, making oh, really oh. good money, so oh, okay. me spending a lot of money wasn't wasn't a real but good. But did thing. were there times when you looked at the, looked, looked, at your, looked at the bank account like bloop, 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 like ooh, um, can't believe I spent that much. I got a little ones. There was a time in Bangkok where my first time in Bangkok, I didn't understand the conversion. I think I ended up spending like 140 bucks on a steak. Um, because I didn't do the conversion right in my head. I just had just came from the Philippines and I mixed it up and I ended up overpaying for a steak. Okay. Um, like I said, now, just did you me, just give them the money and just walk away? Like, here's your money and without really understanding how much it was or, um, or you just didn't you just didn't know that that's how much the steak cost? No, no, no. I, I had the money in my pocket. I paid, but then when I got back to my room, I'm trying to do the, the math in my head, like how much money I should have left. <laughs> right. Um, and it wasn't adding up. And then when I really realized and, and figured out how much the steak really cost, then my money was making sense. I mean, it didn't hurt my money. It didn't hurt my plans or anything like that. But it was just like, you know, I don't. I wouldn't have went if I knew it was $120 for that steak. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. And I was expecting maybe 60 you know. But, I mean, no big deal. It didn't hurt my trip at all. I had plenty of cash. Right. Um, you know, I had a time in the Philippines where I blew probably about six grand um, in about 21 days. And, That's uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. But at the time, I made a lot of money. Right, so yeah, 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 you know, yeah. The, you know, as soon as I got Because you were still work, in the military, right? Uh, I was a contractor. <laughs> and you were in the Army or Marines? I was Army. Okay. So... Thank you for your service, brother. Oh, no problem, man. Yeah. It's been an honor. Thank you. Um, do, you do you run into a lot of ex-military guys out here? Yes. Um... Usually, they're a type that more come in town here and there sporadically. Um, a lot of them live out in Pratamak, Jantian. Um, the guys who've been out here for a real long time, a lot of them live out on the dark sky, you know, but they speak a little bit more time. The dark side's over here where I showed you I was looking for an apartment, right? The, that's the, yes. the dark side. Yeah, yeah, across yeah, Superbit. Shout out to the dark side. Um, so, yeah, they are out here, but they're a little bit more spread out. They kind of have their own community, their own circles, their own events. Um, and and most of them have figured out a way to have a, a good balance out here, enjoy life the way that they want to. And I think that's the real beauty that a lot of guys miss out here is you can do it the way you want to do it. Facts. Um, if you want a long term girlfriend or wife, um, it's out here. Right. If you want to just play around, have fun, enjoy yourself, it's out here. Thanks. Um, you know, even look at the um, recreational uh, marijuana. If the guys who want to smoke, it's out here. Now, you don't have to partake, but hey, it's out here. Right. One thing I knew, and this the other day, remember I texted you? I was like, yo, ain't no alcohol? He was like, nah, ain't nobody selling no alcohol. <laughs> I had to hit the streets. I had to hit the streets to find some beer, which which what I did. I found I found some beer last night. Yeah. Hey, God bless the Buddha. I had the Buddha <laughs> on his birthday, man. I found it. Right. You know what I mean? But that, that's something. But, that, but that's something I did the last time because they had the elections last year. Or something like that, but they shut everything down again. And right, lo and behold, right around the corner, there was a there was a kid out there with a cooler selling beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would have been outlawed in the states, but like a, a fourteen year old kid out there with a cooler selling beer. And I, I I said, you know what? How much for the cooler, kid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much for the cooler? Yeah, things are a little different. I had uh, I was out in uh, Pearl Beach, out in the Philippines, and it was a, a girl that was uh, like fifteen or something, uh -huh. and she worked at this bar. And um, she was serving me my drinks, which I thought was weird. That's weird. You know, I didn't know how old she was at first, but then she was, you know, she was talking about the school she went to, and I was just like, wait a minute. What classes are you taking? Right. And then I started realizing, like, those are high school courses. But the whole day, she had been serving me beers. Now, we talked about this before, where you said, say if a guy moved out here with, say, 6000 in his bank account, and say he only bringing in, say, about... Eleven, twelve hundred a month. You said you could tell them, hell no, you gotta go back home, brother, and get right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we definitely need to have a better financial conversation out here. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question really quick before we get into all of that. What does a Walmart brother do? What does a dude pushing carts like you said? You was just back in the states for a while. You know what I mean? Stop doing that. I'm paranoid. Every no. time you look over there, I look over there. <laughs> you notice that, right? Situation on where? <clears throat> but um. But listen. What is what what does what the thirty six year old do? Because these people exist. It ain't it ain't just dudes that own dealerships, sold it, and then moved to Thailand. Like there's a dude that's pushing shopping carts, or the dude that's helping out the checkout line, that's watching these videos, saying, "Okay, how do I do that? I only been at this job for six years. 
I, I really probably, you know, at 401k, six years, you're probably only going to have like eight grand, nine grand in, in, in your 401k. Um, what is What do you suggest that dude do? Like, how does that dude make it happen under five years? Um, retrain. Um, get yourself a skill that is that is uh, needed in the 100%. job market. Um, you look at truck drivers, you look at welders, electricians. Online, um, IT. The military is short. 36 is a little old to do the military, but maybe possibly maybe be a cop. Yeah. Um, but it's going to hurt. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to hurt. You're gonna you have don't to think there's a way place. they could do something out here, maybe just online, to build and refine, to be like, okay, I'm going to stay in a place that's only $130 a night. I mean, a day. Sorry. I mean, a month. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I pay 100 And you've seen them. They, they exist. The people who don't believe me, they kind of do, but they've never seen it. That's why I'm trying to get, it to get to a place where I can record it. But like 130 a month, which is pretty much a bed, a window, maybe like a night table, mm -hmm. and a fan, right? The fan apartments. The fan, yeah, fan rooms, fan right. So he could live in there for a little while and, and build upon that. Do you think that's possible? I know you wouldn't recommend it, but it, it, if it, you had to. It's possible, but I just don't see the point in coming this far away from your family from the country that you know, um, from your support systems, to live in a kind of desperate state or desperate means. Right. Unless you just really are one of those type of guys that want to be off the grid, it's not, you, you're choosing to be off the grid, not f being forced off the grid. Um, I don't suggest it. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you're coming into a town where everybody else is having fun and you can't have fun. Right, you can go you know, and taking it in early. There's, there's, you know, they, they're doing the pool parties now at the, at the sauna bar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a cost for that and you're like, you got to count your money. That, that's a miserable way to live out here. Facts. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's some of us that early on didn't do the work that they should have to grow the way that they should grow. Um, i.e. get some type of skill, um, invest, save, um, max out your 401k, different things like that. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's guys that we just need to have a hard conversation that, hey, like you need to upgrade. You need to develop yourself. Um, so you recommended some other like, yo, not right now, bro. And you said, you, you told me before the conversation that you had conversations where it was not aggressive conversation, but it was a very like tense conversation where you're like, bro, go home. You're not ready for this. Right, right. I've had that financial conversation and um, and, and some of it wasn't even just financially. It was, you know, guys had bad plans. You know, like you said, guys that are 32, 36. They just, they just go in and kick your chicken, and they just sit down, and they just start talking to you, and you... And you... Right. People run things by me all the time. I've had people talk to me about different business ideas out here, um, you know, about simple things as far as where to go, where to date. You know, um, I get asked a lot of questions out here, and I haven't been asked about how much do you need a month, and how much do you need to be comfortable. Yeah. Um, you know, the other thing, if you got 1300 a month, you know, and a lot of guys out here want to mess with the women out here, you, you, I don't think 1300 a month you're going to be able to live comfortable and get a woman that you desire. Ooh. Uh, you know, that's just it's just not enough. Now, listen, let me ask you a question. If you made 1300 would your woman still be with you? Like, in the beginning? Um, the Genesis. I don't know. It's a good question. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know. Don't know. I don't think um, no woman like a broke dude. No, no. You, if a woman's picking a broke dude, it's it's because either she's financially well off, right. or the money doesn't matter, or she can't do any better. You know what I mean? Um, and and deep. The, deep. no woman's gonna pick that, especially out here, because you gotta remember they think about family. Right. So you know she's gonna be thinking like, damn, what if I have a baby with this guy? We already in the struggle before we have a baby, so that's gonna be a less desirable trait. So to come out here, it's nothing wrong with putting your head down, grinding for a year and a half, getting your skill up, whether it's uh, being a mechanic, whether it's uh, getting your CDL and driving, it's nothing wrong with building yourself up, getting yourself to where you want to be, where you should be. Or a computer or something. Computer, IT, IT classes. Um, overseas, overseas, telemarketing. Well, yeah, but it still starts with in the U.S. and getting yourself together Fact. in the U.S. get that skill. So you said you met people with literally like they're telling you their plans, and you're like, "Nah, bro, go home." Right. Yes, I've yeah. had to. I've had to. And, and, I, and I, there was probably only one guy that kind of got upset about it, and I had to remind him, "I'm not telling you because I'm trying to take a dig at you. I'm not trying to take a shot at you. 
I'm just looking out for what I think is your best interest. I'm talking to you like I would talk to my brother. If my brother told me what you told me, I'm telling you what I would tell him. Right. This is a kick of chicken? Like he came in, got yeah. drinking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it wasn't like, yeah. anything like the conversation to get like aggressive or anything, but I could kind of pick up that he felt like a little offended. Right. Um, like you ain't got the paper, homeboy. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, and this is a guy, he was in his mid 30s and he was trying to go to school for some type of social work. And I'm just like, there's, there's no money in it. That's not going to lead you to the lifestyle that you want. Did he go back home? Um, yeah. yeah. Have you seen him since then? No, no. You know what? One of the things, because I had a situation, right? And this, this is like honest. Like, I went home in June and I didn't come back until May. Mm -hmm. May 10th of, of this year. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much like 11 months. Like, to me, the, the feeling like of landing the second time was more powerful than the first. The first time, I'm like, man, what am I doing out here looking at all these, looking around and shit? And you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just really like, like, what am I doing here? Look at this guy. Who, what is he saying? This language. So I D and all that. What is this? And it took a while. But the second trip was like, I, I felt like, I, I, like one of them dudes in the NBA that won the chip after like 12 years. I was looking yeah. around like, oh. I was like in the parking lot waiting for the dude to pull the car around like, yeah, man. I, it's like, welcome back. Yeah, but that, that, that's a normal experience <laughs> for, for most men coming out here. Right. Um, of all races, of all creeds and colors, you know, when when, when I come out that airport and I see that dude holding my, my name on the sign. Facts. You know what I mean? I'm smiling right now just thinking about how that feels. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, I, yeah. Because you, you was away me? for a little while, too. Yeah, yeah. I went away for eight months. Did, um, you, did you have that feeling like, ah, when you came back? Oh, absolutely. Well, your woman's here, so. Right. When I got through, when I got through um, customs, oh, man, it felt like a weight had came off me. I felt Word. like I was just floating. I was just smiling from ear to ear. My babe picked me up from the airport. We had our little time in Bangkok. Oh, man. I think, for real, and this is just my personal opinion of a dude that, when I came back, like, I didn't, see, this is, this is the funny thing. Like, when I first got here, I had, like, two chicks that I was seeing, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, my first, like, I didn't go to Soy 6 until maybe, like, my fourth day here. Okay. So I was kind of like, and I had jet lag and all that, and I caught a cold. It's like my third cold. It's crazy, but it was super mellow. It was like go around the corner, get something to eat, we go back to the room. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we we was in the room, doing what we do. But mm -hmm. like, I just think like, tone it down. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you can, I can like like okay, I'm a beer guy, right? I can go around the corner. There's like a little spot, cheap prices. Uh, 80 baht for the regular beer, mm -hmm. 120 baht for the tall one, for yeah. the chain. I go there, have a couple of drinks, and go home. Come come back here. Go back to the, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's good enough. And, and it was only like, I think I was under like 600 baht. I think the total night of bit drinking over there was like 600 baht. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, yeah. You, I mean, if you can be financially disciplined, um, you'll have a very good time out here. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a good time. I think right? after a while, and, and, and sometimes, I don't know, maybe I'm just like a guy, just like, because I, I just love Soy 6, right? But after a while, you're seeing the same thing and the same thing, you're hearing the same thing. Like, I tell people this all the time, like on my channel, on my lives, but I'm like, I'm friends with a lot of these girls, too. I, I'll just take them and be like, yo, you want a drink? Let's let's kick it. You know, feel, give a little grab, a little, little booty. <laughs> but we kicking it, you know what I'm saying? But that's the beauty of it. Right. You can do that here and, and enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? You you know, you got guys that come out here for two weeks and they go straight to a Muay Thai camp and they get beat up for two weeks and go home. They never touch a woman. Right, right, here. right. You know? Um, you can, that's the beauty. That's what I tell a lot of guys are missing the beauty of here. You could do it the way you want to for, uh, for a very affordable price. Right. Um, you know, you can get a beachfront room out here for probably 90 bucks a night. Or if not here, then you got John Tia Beach where you can get a room over there for 90 bucks. Let me ask you a quick question. Beach. Have you ever seen the fan room? The which one? The room we kept saying, it's like, it's like literally, I believe the cheapest I seen, I want to be really accurate, was, I'll just say the, the one I remember, but 4500 by a month. Um, out in, yeah, out in John Tia, you'll, you'll see that kind of stuff. Yeah, 100 I'm saying, have you physically seen it? Have you walked into the rooms like, oh, yeah. hell no. Yeah, yeah. Was it a shoe? Was it a shoe box or was it? Um, the room was actually a decent size, but it was just so bare bones, minimum. It had a little mini fridge, you know. Uh, you know, it looked like it ain't been painted since 1985. Nah, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's not the way we should be living out here. No, 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 um, no. Honestly, for them to even have a U.S. foreigner in there, you're going to look crazy because 
with us being Americans, you know, there's a certain uh, bravado, certain expectation. expectation that comes with that blue <coughs> passport. Right. You know, and then if you think about it, honestly, really, we shouldn't be broke in the U.S. Um, there's a lot of opportunities in the U.S. that, that people in other countries would kill to have. Let me ask you a question. You right now talking to like a younger you, <clears throat> with no military, no school, no nothing, and say, okay, you coming out here with making, I mean, you're getting three grand from whatever, mm -hmm. from back home. Do you, is that enough? Would you tell the younger Tommy, like, yo, man, yeah. bring it back? You think three grand is enough to live out here? Three, three grand, yeah. Three grand is a, is a good living out here. That's good. Yeah. A very comfortable. Maybe 25? Yeah, 25. Because you good. remember the last time we talked, you said something about the visa course. Right, right. There's, a, there's always going to be a lot of hidden costs. You know, you never know. You might get sick. So you're going to need more than you think you need for those hidden costs, for those, those things that you don't pay every month. At right. some point, you're going to get sick, or you're going to get a cold, or you're going to get a fever, or a flu, right. or something, and you're going to need to go to the hospital. Um, you might have a motorbike accident, um, so you Ooh. need some forms of insurance. Um, um, licensing, you know what I mean? To get a motorbike, you're supposed to have a, uh, a license out here. Okay. Um, so there's a fee for all those things. Um, sometimes some things um, aren't set up the way that they are in the U.S., so you may have to take multiple drives to get something filed or get something... Uh, figured out for me, uh, my electric bill is on automatic debit. Right, so right, right, it took right. me five bolt rides to get it uh, everything done and signed. Right. And the places weren't really close; they're about a good 10, 15 minutes uh, from each other driving. Now we talked before, and, and I said, "How many brothers have you seen in the situations that I just said about only having a certain amount a month? You know, maybe even broke. How many of those guys you said?" You've seen living out here that made it since you've been coming out here since 2017, or in the Philippines as well. Oh, in the Philippines as well. I would say that there was probably about at least 10 or 12 guys, and I think that only say it louder. I think there was only there's guys that were out here struggling that they didn't that have you enough saw, money. That, that, that was I saw like, yo, man, you need to go to. home. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think about 10 to 12 guys I've had that conversation with. Um, there was one guy out here. He stayed. Um, he, he found. He ended up finding a job as a teacher. He fought it out as, um, a, as an English teacher out here. Yeah, and he took his free time and he was using was that to do like IT courses. Out in Thailand. Out in Thailand. Um, From a Thailand business. No, no, no. He he did it online. Oh, okay, he okay. It on, overseas. He did it online, overseas. He, um, I think he ended up going back to the states to get his certification, and then he came back over here. Um, working in something with the IT department, then he went back to the States again for another certification, and then he came back out here, and he's been out here ever since. Right, because Thailand is not, that's what makes Sasua so popular, and that's, I'll, I'll say this to the day I die, that none of these places are ever going to be Sasua because it's a hop skip. If, you, if, if, a, if it's a dude that lives 10 minutes from me, on a good, you find a good ticket, a good airline ticket, it's three hundred and say forty fifty dollars round trip mm -hmm. from New York from JFK. You could go on a hot say four days, get your rocks off, bring down about eight nine hundred. You're, you're never gonna beat that. Right. As far as brothers traveling, because like I said, what does the Walmart do do to come to Thailand? Even if right right, let's say the guy's disciplined and be like, say and I I I can smell these dudes. Cause I ran into so many of and uh. Dominican Republic is a sewer, but from January to November, save like here, yeah, ten bucks, six bucks, hundred and eight bucks, save, save, save. I got the seven G's. I'm going down to sewer. You can't do that in Thailand. I'm sorry. Oh, you got to do more stacking than normal because that seventeen hundred dollar ticket or twenty two hundred dollar ticket it breaks your back. I'm talking East Coast. I can't speak for guys in Seattle. I can't speak for the West Coast. Shout out to the West Coast. Shout out to Pasadena, but all I'm saying is the guys that I know from, say, North Kakalaka to Philly, we're paying anywhere. I fly Emirates. Everybody's like, oh, they're expensive. They're comfortable. Yes, they are. And the, and the ladies are sexy. Yes. Wear it up. But uh, what, what is the average guy? I, I get what you're saying, but look, we, we don't come from a culture. That's why brothers was hustling. We don't come from a culture of... Damn, I gotta wait. Damn, I got like I can't really rock how I want to rock now. I'm being practical. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever this time, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do it again and again. Right. You know what I mean? So you'll see me periodically. But what does that guy do? Like when he's like, I'm gonna save my ten G's taxes, whatever, mm -hmm. or whatever. Have you know taxes, whatever? 
and I'm coming down. Um, I mean, as long as he's coming down with the, the mindset of it being a vacation, with it right. being a, a, a trip, not a long-term solution, um, you know, you, you got to put your work in. you got to put your time in, like anything. Um, and that's why I tell brothers, it's greater later. You know what I mean? All that grinding, all the working, all the extra hours and all that stuff that you use to put away, you know, your, your secondary job as an Uber driver or whatever, um, you putting that money away, it's going to pay off. You know what I mean? This is more of a spot for retirement. This is not like DR. Thanks. It's a completely different environment. Um, you know, I know for some people with the distance and the money and the time, it's easier to just go to the DR. But that's a completely different experience than, than uh, Southwest Asia. Hell yeah. Um, and for me, I was used to going to the Philippines and then I went to the DR. So the women were absolutely beautiful. Um, I didn't like the feeling of walking around and feeling like I need to look over my shoulders. Um, the DR? Yeah the, <laughs> yeah, the women were absolutely beautiful, but for me, what I ran into was a lot of like just straight business women. Right, and, right, right, right. Um, you know, I have no problem with, with, with paying for it. You know what I mean? I'm just here for a short time. I, I don't want the, no drama. The thing I hate is when, usually I'm, I'm a good picker. Like, I'm, I'm a really silent sniper. Like, I really observe, analyze, talk to them, and they'll be like, you're the one, let's go. But I hate when you're, like, you're doing something, you're in the kitchen or something, then you walk in the next room, and they're already naked, like, in the position. Like, Jesus Christ, let's get there first. Let, right, I, let right. me take the skirt off. Right, right. That's what I ran into in the DR, and, the, and the, when I was running around the Philippines, at least at that point in time. It wasn't really like that. They, they 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 took care of you a little better. You know, they were, you know, if you got thirsty, they're they're gonna run to the store for you, grab you something to drink. Yeah, um, you know, you give them <coughs> five or ten bucks, and they're gonna go get the food for you and bring it back. You know, stuff like that. Um, and that just wasn't the experience I got in the DR. Now the women were absolutely. What beautiful. part were you in? I went to uh, Punta Cana, and I went to uh, uh, what's the other place? Sasua, or yeah, Sasua. So I went to those two spots. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna stop 